This is MJ. I'm an author, I'm an artist, I'm an analyzer. You can find all my work at mjmunoz.com. This is Ultra Man Galaxy. No, it's not right. <laughs> this is uh, another episode of Going Ultra. Uh, I'm talking about Ultraman Z episode 13, which is called I'll Feast on Metals. And this is a clip show. I'm calling my uh, <laughs> I'm calling my review of it ultra clipped, both because it's reflecting the fact that it's about a clip show and the fact that it's going to be short or clipped, as is uh, said in some I don't know. It's not language or dialect, but just it's another way of saying fast, right? Fast or cut short. He spoke in a clip dialect. Anyway, uh, so yes, this was a clip show. I generally do not like clip shows. I generally do not watch clip shows. I have learned from Tokusatsu over the years to watch them more and more. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I tried to watch uh, Ultraman Trigger. Um, and I dipped out after the clip show of that because uh, I just wasn't that interested in the show overall. And uh, the clip show kind of killed the momentum for me. And there was other stuff going on. But uh, I did dip out on that. And uh, I didn't do it during the original run of Z. Uh, Z and I'm not going to do it during this run of Zet because I like this show. And uh, I thought this was actually a pretty good clip show. It was pretty, pretty good. So what did I like about it? Why was it good? Uh, I like that there were a sprinkling of original moments in it. And that those moments were humorous and satisfying and it was interesting to see the other characters from storage sprinkled in we got uh hibakura we got yoko and we got yuka all making a guest appearance i guess you could say uh with haruki and like i said i thought they did a good job with letting us know a little bit more about these people um we got to see, I think we, did we get, we didn't get a flashback from each of them. We got kind of a flashback from Hibakura and, you know, we just got the comedic scene with Yuka and then Yoko at the end ends up leaving a box of noodles or something for uh, Haruki to eat, even though he thinks she's going on a date. She doesn't say she's going on a date, but she's possibly dressed like she is. And, uh, yet she came back for him and Based on the framing and the blocking and where he goes throughout the episode, it's possible that she left storage, stopped at a 7-Eleven or whatever the Ultraman joke is there, and then came back with a 721, is that what it is? And that she came back with uh, a, you know, the thing of noodles for him and said, just eat, you know? Um, it's unclear. That could have happened. Or she could have come back hours later, because it seems like it was supposed to have taken all night or many hours, this whole, uh, escapade with Kenagon or Kenagon Ken man. I just listened to the clip from the episode to, uh, to try to hear it right. So I wouldn't screw it up. Kenagon, right? Let me see. I'm, I'm doing it live. Listen to it right now. <laughs> Let's see. Good evening, sir. My name is is Kanegon, Kanegon, the coin monster. Um, okay, so, yeah. Anyway, I, I thought the moments were cute. Uh, I mean, there was some gross stuff, like, uh, you know, basically at the end, um, the metals all flew out of Kanegon's behind, <laughs> which is kind of gross and funny. Uh, um, and, like, the whole conceit of it, that he swallowed the, you know, this coin monster, who I think is from the original Ultraman, actually, um, swallowed the metals and then somehow hearing about them causes him to eject them from his body and like there was a thing that didn't make quite make sense where at the end of the episode it was like Zet was saying something like he understands Haruki now and why he's having his troubles and I didn't really get that because it didn't seem to me it doesn't seem to me like Zet is aware of what's going on when he isn't active with, with Haruki. And I don't know. Like at the end scene, I really love the end scene where 
they're talking to each other inside of the the Zet space or whatever. And I just don't know, did Haruki just go in there after he got all the medals back to talk to him and they discussed, you know, the events and what happened or whatever? I don't know. But I like how this continues. The th so we got not only those comedic moments, which were funny, like the sleeping bag thing with Hibikura and, and whatever, but uh, we also got... <laughs> <laughs> the you you casino where she's trying to dissect him was funny, um, but the uh, you know we got the scene where he is, or not we got the scene, but we got the the beat, the emotional beat of them Haruki and Zet talking and basically resolving his issue with having to kill Kaiju and how you know any Ultraman has to learn to deal with that or or has to learn the cost of you know being the person who defends lives by taking a life and i thought it was really nice that was really sweet and overall it just worked for me so i don't know what more i have to say about this so i will not belabor the point i will go ahead and uh get out of here uh last thing i'll do before i leave is i will encourage you to check out Ava and the Grow Bug. Uh, you know what? I've decided I'm going to put it up before this episode is published. I'm going to put up the new draft of it this week, uh, May, week of May 21st, because I start my week on Sunday like a person should. Anyway, the week of May 21st, I will put up uh, the final version, I think for now, <laughs> of Ava and the Grow Bug. And uh, I will link it in the show notes here. Because it is an Ultraman-inspired uh, children's story, and I like it a lot. And I think you will too if you enjoy things like Ultraman and Ultraman Z specifically. Um, yeah, that's what I think. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I hope you are well. You continue to be well. This is MJ signing out. I hope you enjoyed that. Go to mjmunoz.com to leave any questions comments, or other feedback you might have. There you can find all of my analysis, art, and fiction. I cover books, tokusatsu, comic books, anime, and more. Look around, you're sure to find something else that you'll enjoy as well. This has been a Story Over Everything production.